Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a sensor that is BME280. In the previous videos, we have seen working of different digital sensors. This is our sensor, as you can see, it's a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor BME280. Now, let's move on to our website that is controleverything.com and here search in for this sensor which we will set up. So it's a digital humidity plus minus 3% RH pressure and temperature sensor and these are it's some of its features which you are able to see. You can purchase this sensor from here. Uh, moving on, I will be showing the interfacing of this sensor with the Raspberry Pi and for that I require a code that is a Python code. So in the resource tab we have the Python code as you can see. Click on the Python code and you can download it as a zip file from here. You will be guided towards further. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository and that is Control Everything Community. It's the official repository of our website controleverything.com. So by the end you have two ways to download your code and the choice is yours. Now at the end we have to set up the sensor and we need the hardware accessories and why not we have a look for that. Well this is our sensor that is humidity, pressure and temperature sensor BME280 which we are going to be setting up. In addition to this we need a Raspberry Pi. Now to provide the solution of connection among the sensor and the Pi and to further make it easy we need an I2C sheet or adapter. This adapter is available on our website controleverything.com and gently make the connection of the adapter and place it over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now the binding factor for the shield and the sensor is this a connecting cable. Make the connection of the sensor and the cable and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fundamental goes for the I2C shield. So it looked like this. Next we need to power up our Pi and here comes a micro USB cable into the picture. Insert it up in the power jack. Now to connect the Raspberry Pi setup with the internet there are two ways first of all this is an ethernet cable gently insert it over the ethernet jack in case uh, if it's not available you can also use a wireless nano usb adapter which might come in handy and it will save your day so this is the final setup we require for our interfacing of our sensor so now we have set up the hardware required for the interfacing the next thing you are going to want to do is to interface the sensor with a python code. So for that go to the website github.com and here search in for the repository that is control everything community the official repository of control everything com.com. Now here type in the sensor that is BME280 digital humidity pressure and temperature sensor. This is the required python code we are looking for it. Let's have a look for the instruction first. We have to download and install SMS library on the Raspberry Pi and this is the link which will help us to install. Let's have a look over the link first. As you can see uh, the Python module allows SMS access through the I2C dev interface on the Pi. You're gonna catch all the information dependencies, installation steps, a lot more from here. Now get back to the repository and this is the python code we are looking for. Now it's a .py extension file. The first thing you notice on the code is that we have imported SMS library on the code. Now in the second part we have imported the time function. First of all we have the address of our sensor that is 0x76. It's the official address. 118 is the decimal equivalent of this. Now in the reading section we have read uh, data it's a 24 bytes data as you can see it's a block data we have read from 0x88 and here the temperature coefficients come into the part as you can see the conversion of temperature data and the temperature coefficients are seen as you go down it will be like this. 
Now here are the pressure sensors. It's the pressure coefficients and here are the conversion part for this. Now in the second part we have to read data again and it's now from 0x e1. One byte of data is this and this is for the humidity coefficient as you can see dig underscore h1. Now again we have to read the data from 0x e1. It's a 7 byte data. It's a humidity coefficient as you can see and this is the conversion of humidity. Uh, coefficients which is according to the procedure followed on the dot data sheet. Now let's have a look over the writing part. Now here we have selected the control humidity register 0x f2 and the humidity oversampling is equal to 1 which is 0x01. The writing command is here. In the control measurement register which is 0x f4 we have sent the command for pressure temperature oversampling and normal mode which constitutes for 0x27 and the writing part is here. We have selected the configuration register that is 0x F5 and we have the standby time 1000 ms which goes for 0x A0. The writing section is here. So here comes the time dot slip 0.5 seconds. Uh, we have used this time as we are, have sent some writing commands and it will take some time for the sensor to collaborate all the writing commands and then that we have the reading section again. Now we have read the data for addresses 0x F7, 8 bytes data is there, pressure and temperature along with the humidity. This is the command for that. Here we have our reading data as you can see. Uh, it's a pressure, temperature and humidity data. It's a continuously we are getting the data and here comes the conversion part of the data we have received. It's a temperature offset calculations, pressure offset calculations and similarly we have humidity offset calculations and these are all being provided clearly in the data sheet for BME280. At the very end of our code we have the output data on the screen which is in the form of temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scale, pressure which goes for hectopascal, HPA and relative humidity which is in percentage. 0.2f uh, will go for two places for float values and this is how the code looks like. Now let's have a look over the code working. Now coming to the working part of this code, let's copy this entire python code and go to the respite terminal and here create a new file with .py extension as you can see on my screen. Now uh, paste this entire code and save it. And this is the command to run the code as you can notice on my screen. And here we go. So there's a temperature, pressure and relative humidity on my screen and again sending the command. There's a slight change. Now when I press my finger over the sensor and run the command, the temperature, pressure and relative humidity changes. Now again doing that, this is again a change. At last, when I again do that, the temperature, pressure and relative humidity changes accordingly. So this is how Python code works with the rest sensor BME280 along with the Raspberry Pi. Now let's proceed further and see what are the applications, procedures, uh, features of this sensor. So far now we have seen the setup, the hardware and the working of the sensor BME280. The BME280 is as combined digital humidity pressure and temperature sensor based on proven sensing principles. The BME280 achieves high performance in all applications requiring humidity and pressure measurement. These emerging applications of home automation control, indoor navigation, healthcare, as well as GPS refinement require a high accuracy and a low TCO at the same time. The humidity sensor provides an extremely fast response for fast context, awareness applications and high overall accuracy over a wide temperature range. This product can be purchased from very website of controleverything.com and the required code is available on the resource tab as I shown you earlier. You can download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. So I have shown you a uh, easy way to get it set up this sensor BME280 it's working and its applications. Uh, I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that uh, you are left without fully understanding. 
so for that if you for the queries if you want to contact me contact me on control everything.com and be sure to post your comments your queries on our community page which is shown here now if you want to look over the articles blogs of these videos you can check us on instructables.com and for more video tutorials you can subscribe our youtube channel i hope you found this video useful and i have more videos coming on my way till then you enjoy yourself and have a nice day thanks for watching